it's Christine from CC Designs and today I have a video on coloring with Copic markers and I'm coloring picture Twyla. When I begin coloring my images I always start with the face and I outline this one with E000 and then I go over around the edges with E01 to start bringing some shading into my image. I make sure I go around all the outside because if you think the contour of a face the outside is always shaded and I give these characters have good noses that you can give the little line to so I give the little nose line on her I then come in with EOO and I start blending out and I do a lot of flicking with my pen to start getting the colors to blend together nicely after this I go in with an EO2 to continue giving the nice shadowy effects to my images. Again I go around the, the outside of the image to give it the shading effect along the chin and along that little neck along the other side of the face and then little hair points and I kind of remember the light is coming from the upper left hand side to cast those shadows Now on these images, I want to give them like where they got the little apple cheeks, give them the, the little puffy apple cheek. So I start putting the lines coming off the eyes over towards the ears. When you think of the human face, how the eyes go into the ears and you've got your little cheekbones there. I then go over everything with E01 to start blending in again. And finally, I grab E O O O and I go over the whole thing just to blend it all in, blend all my E colors together. And to finally give it just that little bit extra, I go over with a B V 0. I put in the nose line, I go around the mouth, around the nose, I do the little cheek parts, I do the outline of the, the shadows around the hair and the face. With this one, I just go very, very lightly around everything just, just to give it just that little bit extra look in there. I then finish up the face by getting the little ear on the left hand side that I forgot to get finished earlier. Then I go on to her arms. This time I decided to do it different. I started with BV000 on the arms to add in the shadowing and then I went over it with an EO2 and then an EO1. The mouth is RO2 for I went over the whole mouth part with RO2 and then I started adding in the shading with EO4. If you think of a mouth, how the inside cheeks are a little bit darker than your tongue. So I went over that with the EO4 to give that little darkness. And then I used RO2 to blend it all together. The eyes, I used E59. And I just went over them with the brown. And then I grabbed my black. And I did little black spots to give you the pupils of your eyes. I actually could not find one of my white markers, so I used just white acrylic paint to give it the little shiny white parts in the eyes. The hair is YR21, YR24, YR27, and then E59. With this, I tried to remember how your hair flows. A lot of flicking going on in this one. I'm going to speed up the video now so you can see how we go through each step.
her little jumper is B91. I start with B91 and colored in the whole part of the little jumper outfit. And then I went in with B93. I went around her little pocket to give it some shading. And then I grabbed B95 and I went down around the outside of the jumper again to add in that little bit of shading color. And then I went back with B93 to start blending them together and finished up with B91. With her little jumper complete, I then went on to her shirt, which I colored in greens. Uh, the greens match the, pa the pattern paper I picked out for her. My greens are YG01 and YG05, and I went over all the shirt parts and her little hair bands in YG01. And then I came back with YG05 to start adding in some shading. Her little um, shoulder, her, or her little sleeves and her collar kind of look like they're ruffled, so I wanted to add a little bit of um, detailing in there. So I come back with my YG05, and I end up doing some lines to kind of give it like a little bit of shading how your shirt if it was ruffles how your shirt would fall and give you pleats and shading in there I took YG05 and I added some shading to her little hair bands and that's it